there are a couple of clips here. For instance, I uh, what I did on this one is I've installed uh, uh, Windows Media Player uh, Classic Home Cinema, which is perhaps the best uh, software you can use for taking a look at uh, HD content on such low power devices. And I've also installed Core AVC uh, Codex. They go for 9.99. This is something I, I install on these devices because it helps uh, performances just a little bit. Uh, also, uh, I uh, pretty much uh, uninstalled all the crapware you, you got installed on this, all the, I don't know, the pre-installed trials and uh, the pre-installed uh, anti antivirus. Uh, right now I'm using Windows Defender, which is quite nice and it won't uh, eat too many resources. Okay, so what we're going to have here, let's first take a quick look. It's Open Media Player Classic. And I'm going to... We're going to take a quick look at a 720p clip. 720p clip is going to play very nice. And let's turn the see very nice uh, sound volume. So the, the 720p uh, this is an MKV 720p, and uh, you can play this one without any problem on this device. Uh, what we also have here is uh, 1080p 40 uh, m uh, megabits per second which is uh, the oceanic uh, demo I usually run on devices and you're going to see that this one is not able to play this 1080p clip so you can see the image lags and the sound lags so it's not going to play this one uh, but uh, I also have just another movie which is uh, ripped which is avatar ripped from blu-ray and another M mkv and i'm going to run this one and you're going to see that you can actually play this one but i only managed to play it let's take a look it's quite quite nice it's going to play quite okay not sure if i'm going to spot everything right there because like i said we're outside here so, uh, trust me, this one is going to play okay on this small screen. However, when I tried uh, outputting this one on HDMI to a bigger display, it didn't quite as nicely. Uh, it didn't quite play as nicely as it should. Uh, there were quite a couple of uh, skipped uh, skipped frames right here, right there. I'm not particularly sure why, because uh, AMD said this. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, I'm not really sure why, because AMD actually said that uh, this one is going to be able to play 1080p clips uh, quite uh, quite nicely. And I've also tried this particular clip on uh, BS player and VLC player, and they're not really working on this on that one. So only working on uh, with the Windows Media Player uh, Home Cinema. Not sure why, because I installed all the all the uh, 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 all the codecs and all the latest uh, the latest updates. Uh, also, here are a couple of raw files from the camera. This is an MTS file. <laughs> I've opened it with BSP player, which is not something I should do. Let's take a quick look and I'm going to see that opening BS player. Hi guys, this is Michael and Google Catch Catch fingerprints, or at least they won't be visible. See, it won't uh, squash very easily. Uh, it doesn't it won't catch, and it won't catch sm smudges. So overall, a pretty that nice finish. good as it should. Uh, uh, but uh, if we're going to open this one in, in, in Media Player Classic. It's actually going to be quite fluid. So here it is, Media Hi Player guys, Classic. There's only a this single is, memory uh, slot, so one of my uh, you can uh, for replace laptop. the one gigabyte with the two gigabyte for right. remote. Quite okay. Right However, there are a couple of artifacts like cooling changing between the screen. You can see. Bands. Not sure exactly why this happens. And I'm also going to show you a 1080p. MOV file. I have. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the one. This is the one. This is a 1080p MOV file. And you can actually see it as it's playing the song quite nicely. And C keyboards quite okay. So. Uh, it's quite uh, weird that it doesn't uh, actually handle MK MKV files uh, the way it should because these files uh, actually come with a better bitrate than an MKV and it, they can, uh, it can play them. Uh, also, I'm going to show you, let's go on uh, 
YouTube and take a look at the 1080p clip playable on the screen but when outputting it to a bigger display it's not going to work uh, as expected. Let's search 1080p clip and this is the avatar trailer. Okay so 1080p HD So can play 1080p clip, no problem on the small screen, but uh, not that good on uh, on an external display like I already said. Okay, uh, what I should also show you is of course our blog. And I'm going to, to see if this uh, touchpad comes with multi, multi gestures. And I believe it should. For instance, you should have scrolled. Okay, so two finger scrolling, pinch to zoom. And it's actually quite workable. And of course, you probably have back and forward. Let's load uh, one of these. And you should have. So it doesn't really have back. I'm not sure exactly how you can you can go back, but it for sure has uh, this gesture so as well. And the click buttons, like I said, are very nice. They're not quite very easy to use. So pretty nice uh, click buttons on this one. I believe this is pretty much it. Uh, you should compare this one with the uh, top uh, top uh, netbooks with uh, AMD N550 and N570 uh, and. Uh, on a rough estimation, this one is a little bit uh, slower in everyday tasks because the processor is a little bit slower. But uh, when dealing with HD content, this one is better because uh, those uh, netbooks cannot actually play uh, 1080p content, while this one can, but not really in all uh, in all existing scenarios. So can play in some scenarios, but not in all. Uh, of them. Uh, overall device is fairly solid build. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the keyboard, but uh, you're going to get used to it and it's going to be quite okay. And of course you have the glossy display, which is kind of a no-no for me, but could be okay for, for you guys. Uh, the device is going to be available, it's available right now in Europe. Uh, I believe it goes for 400 euros, so it's towards the upper uh, uh, the upper uh, limit, uh, the upper mark uh, price for uh, netbooks. Uh, in the US should be around 490, maybe 370, 490, uh, 370, 390, sorry, no, 490. Uh, so it is a little bit expensive and uh, mm, this, why, this one, I'm not sure if this is actually a device you should get, uh, you should really get uh, right now. Still, if you want a 10 inch uh, with uh, good performances, especially in multimedia and even in some games, this is the pick for you. Uh, if you can go for a bigger device like a 10 point, uh, 11.6 or 12.1 uh, inch device, and you can spare like a couple of extra bucks, like 150, 100 bucks, they're actually better, better picks for you. Okay, this is it uh, right now with uh, the Toshiba. M B550D, you're going to find a review on the site on netbooklife.net, we're going to find also pictures and uh, and uh, test results like I said, so please take a look, uh, that was Mike, Netbook Live, uh, thank you for watching.